Hello, I'm Ron Lee. I'm here with Proven Industries, and today we're going to be having some fun because we're going to be doing some destruction. We're going to be testing our lock and also our competitors. We're going to show you the real difference in security versus vulnerability. So let's go over here and let's get started with one of your most common coupler locks, and we're going to show you how it installs and how easy it comes off. Now you can see I got the lock installed. Now you're going to see in real time how easy this comes off. So let's go over why this product failed on us today. But first I'd like to go over why it's so important to know what materials your products are manufactured out of. Because ultimately a product's only as good as the weakest point. So if you're using cheaper materials, no matter how good of design you have, you're ultimately going to have a failure because of the materials. And that's what contributed to this one failing today. As you can see, this one's made of a cast aluminum. And when I put a pry bar, as I demonstrated earlier, right over here and produced a little bit of leverage on it, it made the ball pop off like so. And that's because it's made of cast aluminum. And as you can see right here, you can see the threads from the ball still on the bolt. And that's because it is the cast aluminum, which is a cheap, cheap material a lot of manufacturers like to use because it keeps production costs low. So unfortunately, that is why this one failed on us today. Now let's go over why this product failed on us today. It's also made of a cheap die cast material, but zinc, which is not a good material to use, but manufacturers like to use it because it is cheap and it does keep production costs lower. But unfortunately, it's not a good combination for security products. And as you can see in the video where I demonstrated, I put a pry bar right above here, put a little bit of leverage on it, and then it created the whole base of it to crack. Once that crack was introduced, it allowed it to come right off the coupler. And at that point, it's not serving a purpose and it's not protecting your trailer. So unfortunately, the materials contributed to this product failing today. Now let's go over why this failed on us today. As you can see, this product is made of aluminum, which in most cases, that's okay, because this is extruded aluminum, but not in this one, because it does have a wide open mouth where you can put a pry bar inside here and get leverage and then pry it right off of the trailer. So that is why this one failed on us today. Now let's go over our coupler lock. It consists of an aircraft aluminum puck lock with a hidden shackle that's also rekeyable. Then we have our outer shield, which is made of quarter inch steel on every part and is CNC two blazer cut. Then we have our inner slide, which is also quarter inch steel and that's robotic TIG welded. And this will secure your safety chains as well, which no other lock provides. That is what our coupler lock consists of, all three pieces. Now that you see how easy our competitors come off, now I want you to see how ours goes on and how much it can withstand versus our competitors.
And on this, I'm not gonna lock up the safety chains because I'm just doing a demonstration of how hard it is to remove. Okay. okay. It's locked on there. We're good to go. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll start with the crowbar. Now we'll use a sledgehammer. Now let's try a sawzall and we'll really see how it holds up after that. As you can see, not even the sawzall can cut through this quarter inch hardened steel. Thanks for watching our demonstration video today. Hopefully I've made it easier for you to make an informed decision on what security devices you want to use on your trailers. And keep your eye out on our webpage because we have more demonstration videos to come. And don't forget to like us on your Facebook.